Hey everybody, thanks for checking out ReliantTechnology.com. Today we're talking about Oracle performance and how to make your Oracle databases scream on your storage systems. So let's get right into it. I'll give you five tips to increase performance. And as you'll notice, they're all hardware related. They're not software related. So you can do a lot of things to work with your DBA to tune your Oracle databases to make them perform better. But these are all hardware changes. So let's get into it. Number one, what you can do is you can take a look at your storage system and consider breaking your RAID 5 RAID groups and turning them into RAID 1 or RAID 10 RAID groups. The reason is they're faster. We all know that mirroring is the fastest way to serve up data. It also is more expensive, but for Oracle databases that demand performance, it's something you might consider. Uh, number two, uh, you can increase your spindle count. What that means is you're going to add more drives to your storage system. So imagine if you have 14 disk drives in your storage system and all of a sudden you increase it to 48 disk drives in your storage system. You're essentially spreading out the workload amongst more resources so you can fetch and retrieve data at a faster rate. So take a look at increasing spindle count instead of replacing your array. The next thing you can do is use smaller disk drives. A lot of people these days are using the 450 gig drives and they run into performance issues. The reason is if you have a 450 gig drive, I'm going to draw this in a linear fashion, Imagine that drive is being this, this long, and if you've got Oracle data spread across this line, this head's got to go all the way across, and then come all the way back with the data. It could be slow. Let's say you have a 73 gig drive. Bop, bop, real quick. So think about using smaller drives. This is overly simplified, by the way, but think about using smaller drives. It's well documented on the internet uh, to increase performance. You use small drives instead of large drives. The next thing which you might want to do is use a standalone platform. What we see all the time is a customer will buy a storage system, it's their first storage system or their second storage system, and all of a sudden they've got all their applications on there. They've got VMware, they've got TSM data, they've got their SQL databases, they have Oracle, they've got uh, maybe some file servers on there, they've got images, and all of a sudden this thing is totally full and the system is running very slow. If you've got some very important Oracle databases, you might think about peeling those out and putting them on a standalone system. And number five, what you really ought to think about is checking all points of communication with your SAN infrastructure. If you've got a very expensive, let's say an AIX server running uh, Oracle, you definitely want to make sure you don't have any two gig HBAs in there and you've got a point of a bottleneck. Make sure if you've got an expensive four gig SAN and a four gig storage system, you've at least got four gig HBAs inside your server. I hope these five tips can give you a couple ways to, to help you out this month. And if you're looking for more ideas or want to kick some ideas around, give us a call. I'll be glad to help. ReliantTechnology.com. Thanks again. Have a great month.